Hey guys, just want to uh, show you why I've decided not to use Flex Seal. So last fall I did a quick little test and uh, had to finish up some repairs from a previous owner. Decided to give this a shot. All right, I'm hoping if I can zoom in close enough this and still focus on it. I'm hoping you can see how porous that is. See all those little micro holes? This is three coats and this was freshly done. Now the good thing is I have proper RV decor over these seams. This was just kind of a, a protectant I thought about putting on some of the aging plastic trim here. I was hoping it might fill in some of these stress cracks that I have here at the corner. As you can see, it hasn't. But uh, let me take you up top. Hey guys, just showing you up close here. thought this was recording the entire time. Um, this was a little bit of uh, flex seal that had separated the cracks and you can see it was done in proper temperature with good prep techniques and the flex seal is just peeling off. Um, you can kind of see if I don't block the sun, these other cracks over here and here where it's just been separating. Now luckily there is proper RV decor underneath all of these lines so I'm not too worried about them. This was a previous uh, patch I had about 12 inches to patch this corner here where I made my own rail and it's also sealed inside this on the two inch so hopefully I don't get too much moisture into there and then this will also get uh, painted um, with a kind of a bed liner product uh, when we're done but I've got a lot of real estate on the roof to do and yeah I'm not gonna bother touching that flex seal uh, anymore on this truck and uh, we're just gonna remove it put some proper die core down and uh, we'll get the roof sealed and of course we're gonna put a, a tintable bed liner there's another great spot so right here on the corner see that how that sets up extremely porous and this is multiple multiple coats you know thin coats put over thin coats and uh, it just doesn't set up well not pleased with it as well avoid the flex seal and I know it's a, as seen on TV product guys but uh, you know, you got to try what people are saying the, is popular. I'm just telling you, from my experience, I'd avoid it. Also, just so you know, the Flex Seal, this is what I use pre-prepping uh, prep. This cuts down tons of oils, anything on the paint does a really nice job. So I'm putting on some lighting here, so I'm just prepping the surface, making sure it's properly cleaned, no oil and residue, and uh, it's eating through the Flexol. Um, this part here, you can probably see on the uh, paper towel where it's it's white it's coming off so these are the white marks so flex seal if you get any flex seal on there just use a little east woods uh, pre-prep and that'll eat right through it so not a good sign not a good sign at all thanks for all the love and support you guys are amazing please like share and subscribe Follow the adventure on social media and we'll see you on the road.